Yo, yo, yo. Here we go. Today is the day. It's challenge day for Bangalore. How are we all? Welcome. It is Saturday. I am ready. Ready to get my skin. Ready to get my finisher. Been way too long. Oh, wait. It's no longer a heavy weapon. <laughs> okay. It's okay. Where's the mags? There we go. Get the Spitfire blue. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All the early people to the stream. We have got CEO Productions, Kessil Belil, Sometimes Funny, Mijelli, Bahram Romani, Gussy Gus, Human Being. Oh, oh. <laughs> Jelly just dropped a can in front of me. Scared myself. Jesse Rose, Mr. Twister, Thunder, B347, Sideways, Crew Chief 73, Airman. The picture is too loud. Bronze, welcome. The Phantom, hello, hello, hello. Sucks his mic isn't on. I like hearing his commentary. Yeah, nice try. I know it's on. I see the levels working. Don't even start with that. Hmm. His mic isn't on. Uh, 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 uh. No, no, no. We don't fall for that today. Shell Bean, joining your stream and coming into that laugh. Makes the best day so far. <laughs> oh, my laugh has many different forms. Welcome. Corey says, I've never seen you live. Now you have. I left you alive. I want you to go back and tell all the other dummies what waits for them. I'm kidding. I'll tell them myself. <laughs> <laughs> uh. It turns out what is waiting for the dummies is a whole load of missed shots. Dusty says, I can get through my day positively because of you, buddy. Dusty, you honor me. Michael says, how am I doing today? I'm all right. I took my youngest to the park, watched her climb, and took her on the roundabout and the swings, and she's just coming out of that age soon where she's not going to enjoy the parks anymore, so I, I can feel like in the next year she's going to be like, nah, boring. So yeah, it's all right. We were doing a little bit of parkour as well, where she loves climbing in general. She does like climbing walls and stuff like that. And she likes Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. And, you know, she's like, basically, as far as daughters go, she is every father's dream of how, how things should go. When you have a daughter like Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, you like that. Good, good. You like climbing, monkey bars, Jiu Jitsu, and uh, sorry, uh, press ups and, you know, she just likes doing all sorts of physical activities. So, like, for someone like uh, like me, who's... When I was younger, I enjoyed all of, of that kind of thing. That she's clearly a chip off the old block. But she's got super strength for her, you know, like, pound for pound strength. And, yeah, we were doing little parkour challenges where I'd be, like, getting her to run up to one of these climbing wall things and then do a couple of... A good leap and then one foot to help climb and then get the top hand over the top of the ledge and then pull yourself up. She's good at all that kind of thing. So that was my afternoon. Just looking at my daughter going, I'm proud of you. Every step you take fills me with pride. <laughs> so, yeah, it was good. 
it's all good until uh, she shows me what she's been learning in jiu-jitsu and chokes me out. I've told this stream on stream before, but a couple of times she's caught me unawares and the, the holds went in so fast, I couldn't tap. <laughs> all I did was stick my tongue out and go, good night, cruel world. Blah! <laughs> Rag, what's your range accuracy? My range accuracy? Well, you see that thing over there? That? I could hit one out of ten from here. That's my accuracy. Red Crypt says, I'm trying to get away with watching you while, you, while I work. Okay, let me know how that goes. If you need an alibi... Well, don't ask me, because if I'm your alibi, then... You're fired, probably. Zuri says, Ragtag is a dad. How's that father life? Oh, I've been a dad for... <laughs> like I said, she's my youngest. My oldest is in high school, so... Yeah. It's good. I'm enjoying it because I think... Well, every dad probably thinks this, but I think I'm relatively well... Um, relatively well balanced in terms of the age that we're in. I'm not out of date with with what uh, a child's future should entail. So because I'm still very much connected to the information age, I don't have that mindset of, you must get these grades, you must go to college and then secure yourself. Well, if you want to be a doctor or a lawyer, sure. But if you want to do anything else in the real world, you need real sets of skills. So I'm a bit more that way inclined. So when they get pressure from their teachers and do this, that, and the other. All I care about is that they learn the skill of learning. And that's really what I tell them. I say, I don't care about your, your grades. Obviously, do your best. But really, you want to get good at learning how to do stuff. And if that means learning stuff you're not interested in, that's still part of the skill set. So I t teach them more things like that. And that's my, my parenting ethos is don't act weak. Don't bully the weak. And, um, you know, pretty much... Yeah, what you just heard. Uh, no place for any of that garbage where everyone pours into themselves and ends up believing that they're owed something, you know. So I, I'm teaching self-sufficiency in a very kind of gentle but, but sometimes, you know, nudged correctly. Just some, I think you've got to try and find this push and pull as a parent where you're, you're not forcing your will onto them. You're letting them find their own feet, but at the same time, guiding them away from the garbage, you know? Okay. <laughs> How many shots did I just miss there? Do I like to watch the Apex tournaments? No. Can I show you my settings? My settings mean... I don't know... I say this every time. What's the point in seeing my settings? Have you seen my play area? No. I'm mouse and keyboard, and that's it. My, but my play area matters a lot in terms of what my settings are. And my my graphic settings matter based on what my PC needs it to do. So my, my, my PC specs matter as much. So I, I don't really see the, the appeal in settings. Like I'm on a single, a single machine streaming setup. So I bring some things down quality-wise, like I'll, I'll do like medium streaming rig, three gigabyte or whatever. Um, when it comes to some of the graphics, I will cap my FPS at 144 because Apex doesn't run real great above 200. Um, I have an Alienware 34-inch monitor. Uh, Logitech, light, uh, what's it called? The Light, Super Light Pro or something like that for my mouse. Okay, let's go. We don't need to warm up anymore. Get ChatGBT to all our homework. Uh, <sighs> oh boy. Bron says, just got a PS5 today, so we'll be back on Apex and probably get more interested because I still haven't adjusted to the new update because I played like two matches. You'll be fine. Gaborai, caught one of the streams, here you are. Gambit, hello, how you doing? Tony Pizzano, hola. Does the rest of my family play Apex 2? No, but my two brothers play Fortnite. 
and I play with them occasionally. We have a really good time. The last time, <laughs> the last time I played my two brothers, uh, we all rocked the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle skins. And we got destroyed, of course, but it doesn't matter. We were, we were having all sorts of fun, man. We do the things that probably get you killed more often than not in Fortnite, where I'd get one of my brothers to go pillion on the back of a motorbike and start emoting, finding the dumbest emotes you can. Then I would try and do two or three somersaults with the motorbike and the thing would fall off a cliff. He'd fall off the back. He'd die from fall damage and I'd get shot out of the air. Beautiful. Welcome to Fortnite. So that is... Manga Senpai says, it makes you feel better about your skill. I'm several dozen years younger than you, and I've gotten flat, and you're on controller. Listen, it doesn't really matter these rank things. I've, I've, I am at the end now of, of thinking about whether or not rank matters. I'll tell you what matters most with ranked. It's time. How much time you put into this game. If you put the time into the game this season, you will most definitely climb. It's going to happen, but... If you're only playing two or three hours, once or twice a week, three hours, three times a week, and you like mix in your your pubs games and your ranks, you're obviously going to get a different result to someone who's just grinding it out. It sort of depends what you use your playtime for as well, you know? Oh, 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 oh. The Spitfire! I see you. Kind of. Ah, oh, just shoot in the general direction, man. Hacker. That ragtag must be a hacker. Woo! Good, good. Great movement. Hello there. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I could do this. Oh, are you kidding me, man? <laughs> Don't want to talk about it. Why am I getting so thirsty? It's like... That guy's like, oh man. Can you give me a chance? I'm coming, Octane. I'm coming. Ah. This dude's in the Matrix, man. That... <laughs> I'm warming up, guys. This is my first game of the day, all right? Don't say a word. Not a word. Did that fuse, you know, almost have me completely destroyed? I will not hear of it. Not one... Ooh. I still think you should have the six times on the on the triple take, man. It's not... I don't think that's, that's a crazy idea. I think... Not like you're going to break the game by having a six times on it. Yeah. Octane, I will be there, but this time I'm gonna bring a gun that I know I can use. Oh, wait, wait, <laughs> oh, wait! There's two of them, guys. Look, it is a warm up. That's why we call it a warm up. I, I didn't see them. I didn't see them. I'm still, still calibre. Oh, it's getting finished, man. Oh, that's so rude. Are you kidding me? Loba, I know I missed every shot, but you stood there. Are you kidding me? Use me. Use me. Use me. Yeah. You got this. Right. So, what just happened there? I am editing that out of the stream. I am going to find a way to... Get inside the stream after this, and I'm going to put a white piece of paper over the entire screen and say technical difficulties. Say nothing. For sure, he has about 82,000 to go or so. Are you... Stop spreading lies, Sarah. I need 9,000, and then I'm going to get it. I'm 91,000 out of 100. Why are you saying I need 82,000, man? Stop lying. Don't demoralize me before we get going. It's going to take me three hours at least to get this anyway. Jeez, some people. Honestly, these rumor mongers. 
Papa Patrick says, hi, Rag. Triple take is my best weapon. Paul, shut your mouth. Hen Henrik says, we were on a warm-up. That's exactly it. Hat day is today, says Raceland 2 k That vibrato is crazy. Oh, do you want to know the secret behind vibrato? I can tell you. So it's air pressure control, and you can learn it in, well, I suppose there's a few ways you can learn it, but... One of the easiest ways to, to think about vibrato is that you are creating a wave of sound. And when you sing on a note with, with vibrato oscillating correctly, what actually happens is you're not technically always dead on the note that you're singing. Now, that might be difficult to understand because you'd be like, wait, what? Because the voice is actually creating this kind of woo 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 sound. So what you can do if you're looking for vibrato just to... Obviously, have fun with it. Vibrato is kind of like something you need to feel like you're not tensing up. But conversely, there is tension going on in the um, external internal obliques that pressurize the air from your core. So when they all come together, your your throat should feel relatively unburdened. Um, so that you can start these with these exercises where you go between one note and go underneath it and then back up to it and just slide up and down this kind of Ah, once you've done that a while, just speed it up. Ah, and there's your vibrato right there. It's obviously there's a little bit more to it than that, but you know, vibrato is not a not a, like a, a mystery that some people can do and some people can. It's just some people dedicate the time to deal with it and some don't. You know, um, that's one way for sure. Ho ho! Here we go. Yes, I'm going to start singing lessons um, with the with the chat as I play. I'll give you all your tips. No problem. <laughs> I do like the the RE45. A dead man's revenge. Thank you very much for the super chat, indeed. I think probably I've gone a little bit crazy with the syringes, so let's just calm down. Calm down! <laughs> Everyone's taking everything. Wife says, my vibrato's like a dying meal, says Dusty. Um. Well... You know, we all start somewhere. Barato is a trill for singers. No, nope. singers can trill as well. Baroque was my speciality, so trilling is even a, is a wider oscillation, actually. Um, you know, the old... Um, da -da 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 that's a trill when you, when you oscillate even wider and quicker at the same time. So it's a wider tonality with a... Um, with faster oscillations as you, as you go as you go through it, but again, it's it's the it's the illusion that it creates when you create vibrato and trills and things like that as a singer. I know. Welcome to my domain, everyone. What I actually did my degrees in. <laughs> I don't know if anyone even cares about any of that, but there you go. <laughs> Start a punk band. I actually released some rock music in 2018, was it? I've covered it a few times on the, the stream. You don't see many cryptos anymore, do you? Like, not, not really that many cryptos kicking around. Do you care about ordinance? Nah, let's get the ultimates going a bit early on, man. Let's just do it. Okay, Wraith, let's go. Am I into classical music? It was, well, I... <laughs> oh, hold on a second. It was like, it was my life. That's what it was. Ah, there's someone up there, man. We just go in here.
It actually sucks that we're getting pushed like this, but let's see. I'm also going to stick this down here. Wait, what? Why did I take my med kit, man? Oh, whatever. You need a ragtag Apex rock opera now. <laughs> I mean, anything's possible, man. I thought there was someone here. How many squads are there, man? Ah! Ah! Oh, crypto. Crypto! <laughs> I think what's going to happen here is Reese about to get wrecked. You weren't expecting that, were you? Where is he? So that's two. Oh! Oh, crypto! <laughs> oh, that was going to be a hard one. No, I was two there. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. The gaming merchant said in the live stream it'd be cool to collab or something. I, I, yeah, he messaged me not long ago actually asking if I wanted to play, and I said yes. So, um, totally fine with playing with him. I just don't really want to play ranked. That's the issue, but yeah. Swanky African says, do you like LMGs? My motto is, if your aim is bad, you just need to shoot more bullets. I love that. That sounds like gutter tier to me. Here we are now, 92,776 out of 100,000. And then we can finally, finally unlock that beautiful tier three. I think the tier two maybe looks better. How about if you have the tier three armor, but this mask I would like to be able to customize this a bit more. Like, yeah, have the tier three armor, but the, just take the helmet off. And then keep the finisher, obviously. That'd be good. Joel, think. Peyton, welcome. How you getting on? What are all these cameras? Is uh, Bangalore under the, under the paparazzi lights? What's my favorite gun at the moment? Uh, I think the Peacekeeper is still my favorite at the moment. I, I don't I don't think anything's topping that for me right now. Okay, maybe the EVA 8. Let's be honest here. <laughs> I think, <laughs> that thing is just bonkers. Do I still play with Jenks? We talk frequently, but we don't play together at the moment. I'm not really playing a lot of Apex outside these streams, so... That's, that pretty much takes out a lot of collab opportunities. Unless I'm doing something while I'm here streaming, you know what I'm saying? Remember, That's it. Xander S or Xanderas says, I feel like all tier twos look better than threes. I'll need to go through them and, and check. Sammy, welcome. How you getting on? Says, fave day of the week when the greatest gutter tier player is live. Very kind of you to say. Hanky says, I just play a bunch of mixtape. I think that's a good idea, actually. But 
I don't like Thunderdome unless they've changed the <laughs> the the sound of the crowd is way too loud. Lord Shax disagrees. <laughs> oh man, I dropped a quite a good. I, I call it quite good, but I don't know if it's true or not. But I call I I think yes. I'm going to say it. It is a good video. I dropped a Destiny 2 video for members only for Assassin's Creed where I had a, a silly skin. Can you imagine playing with a Destiny 2 armor piece on whilst you're fighting Vikings. It's exactly what happened, and you can imagine <laughs> how that went when, you, when your sword has rockets coming out of it. Yep, it was fun. Okay. The spirit fire! <laughs> um, uh, no, I, I can't go Spitfire and, and thingy at the same time, but... Wait, we've already got one. Okay. Wait, we might need that later. Oh, this is a mess. If you just... just... Right, where is everyone? I'm hearing things. Here we go. That's the end of your revival. Oh! No! I'm actually in big trouble here. We actually could still lose this, man. We actually could lose this. I'm coming, Octane. No! Oh! I played so bad there, but hey, Maximum, thank you very much for becoming a member. That's very kind of you. Misunderstood Socialist says he right going to try Hell Divers, as I have pointed out quite a few times on yesterday's stream. I've played it. It's it's okay. It's it's not my game of the year by any stretch. Right now, I'll tell you what I'm enjoying. I'm enjoying the last, uh, just last epoch. Man, that is a fine game. Really liking that. Gabarai says they tuned it down a wee bit. Yeah, I, I, I played it after they tuned it a wee bit and it was still far too much. <laughs> Wait, Fuse has got a thingy. Right, how many... I've got to be very careful with my... I mean, quite literally, I should have done Havoc myself with all that stuff that's just kicking around. But you know what? I don't care. You know why? Because I have an RE45! It makes me feel alive! <laughs> um, oh, no. No, we've we've made that mistake before. Going prowler as a as a primary weapon just don't feel real great. All right, I think we're ready now. We're good. We're good. We're good. Ever consider joining us and losing our minds in Tarkov? I have two or three hours in that game, and I will never be setting foot in there again. Not interested in inventory management games like that. Not interested in spending 45 minutes trying to pull off something amazing or, or get in the ultimate position only to get shot from somewhere. I have no idea what it is. That game, I don't understand it, man. I like watching it, but I don't like being in there. I'm not good enough. My awareness is just horrendous. Any ranked again today? No. Congrats on 500k. 
<laughs> Thank you, dude. I'm, uh, I'm only laughing because we're on our way down. We're not on our way up. It's 500k down the way. So... I was uh, I was at five hundred and four thousand or something like that, but now we're we're about to be four nine nine. So, but it is very nice that people reach out and congratulate me on my on my fails. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Do I sing narrate everyday activities? Yes. Yeah, so there's something in in baroque and classical um, singing in the operas. So the things that precede the arias and move on the story are called recitative. And I used to do this all the time, which is just practice, because this would be how you speak in opera. You would do a kind of a, a line where you would say, you know, why did you kill my father? He was the light of my life. And then someone might reply, because he was a butthole. And then you would say, I see but that doesn't justify what you have done. You know, like, th that's how you would quite literally move the plot. So you don't have to sing. You do sing, of course, but you don't have to sing long extended notes. And <laughs> you would talk between the characters using restative. So I used to practice doing this all the time to try and make it flow a bit better, you know? <laughs> so it's, it's true. You can look that up. Uh, restative is what it's called. Recitative. Um, and uh, recitativo is the Italian, so um, I guess, but um, but yeah, very funny. I've forgotten so much from my upper days, so I'm sure a couple of inaccuracies are going to come through when I'm explaining everything, but generally that's uh, that's narrating as you go. Who is he seeing? Where is the road to Diamond Vid? Um, I'm not enjoying them, so I'm not making them. It's that simple. I can't give you what I don't enjoy. Hidden MMR has completely destroyed the the process for me. I think it's the... I've learned a lot about SBMM recently, and I'm not talking about... I'm not talking about your usual stuff. I'm talking about... I've been reading research papers on matchmaking, how Hidden MMR works against SBMM, SBMM versus EOMM. I've been reading a lot of stuff about all of that. And to be honest, I understand why they don't tell you now, because... Once you know how it works, it's it's difficult to want to do it. <laughs> I'm not even saying all the info I've got is correct, but the things I have read is... There's people here, by the way. I don't know who it is, but... Where are these guys? How close are they? I don't... Are they in there? Get out of here! Oh, I see. Well. Oh no. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, I actually think Fuse's shield <laughs> made that worse. I couldn't see over it. <laughs> um, how far are we from the tier three? Uh, 7,000, just less than 7,000. We're gonna do it guys, it's happening. Crystalis says, I mean, you can give us what you don't enjoy. Yeah, I, I'm not going to, though. Yep, 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 yep.
So is MMR another form of SBMM, says Tony Havoc, please. So, MMR is your matchmaker rating. You're the number behind whatever your, your rank is. And when you're, when you're matched against other players, this number is in use regardless of what the badge says in front of you. Sarcasm 360 says their revenue comes from manipulating us to want to keep playing even if we're not enjoying it. So, I don't really know how much to say about this without putting tinfoil hats on. At some point, I'm going to make a video about it, but how do you keep your product in good working order? People who hold great jobs and can still afford to video game, but still afford to buy anything and no sweat off them, you know, will obviously make up a portion of the gaming population. They're likely not to be as skilled as the, the really good players. Who, by the way, I know everyone thinks SBMM is, is, is the problem, and it is for different reasons, but... The good players are the ones that are actually getting destroyed by, by this whole system. It's not it's not so much everyday me and, and you. It it really is the people who are decent and good. They are forced into sweat mode every single day. All day. And you might be like, boo-hoo, they're good. But it's, it's like um, even good players want to try other things and play other ways and not just have to quite literally sweat like it's the finals of a tournament. Um, so, no matter what we talk about today, just bear in mind that the the real victims of SBMM is actually the, the decent to, to great players. And nothing anyone can ever say will, will change my opinion on that, because when you see how, how the system works, it's, um, it's horrifying in some ways. So anyway, going back to what I was saying, people with good jobs, good, stable, well-paying jobs can just walk in be trash at the game and dump $200 down, $300 down on a on skins and they end up in a in a different bracket of um, player skill. They the quite often will make up the the lower end of a player skill. Not always. You do meet beasts, giga chads that have good jobs and are beasts themselves, but a lot of people that pay for, pay for things in game they suck. So you got to keep them happy. <laughs> Are you going to keep them happy? Protect that bracket. Protect it! <laughs> so, the, the tighter you, you match people, um, the more difficult it gets. But it doesn't matter so much at the lower end of the bracket. They have a great time. Like People on the way up on the skill curve, they're never going to complain about SBMM. Um, it's going to feel like a good old time. It's once you get to the average bit, like players like you and me, We'll start to feel it, but we feel it for different reasons. Um, our, our SBMM will take different different jumps than, say, a really good player who's, who's literally forced all the time. So you imagine it like your MMR will have like a, a bracket over it in terms of what you'll be matched against. And let's just say me, right? I play, well, if I play six to eight hours a week, maybe more, maybe 10 hours a week, here's what happens to my sessions. I might finish while I'm doing all right. Or I might finish after I have just feel like I've come over the hill a bit. When I start my next session, I will maybe get destroyed, like utterly wrecked as I'm warming up. It's quite difficult to, to matchmake someone who is so variable. I have other issues as well that make my, my play style, you know, kind of like one day I'm all right, the next day I'm not. And it could be the same for other people as well. It's like, I had a hard day at school today. My boss was a... A butthole to me and you're not playing as well um and sometimes that can affect your matches as well so there's more there's more going on than just your matchmaker actually screwing you over sometimes it's like a mixture of outside things as well it's actually quite a complicated topic but basically your your inconsistent players are gonna think that there's something else going on but it's it's more than just just the matchmaker. Not really what we want to hear, I know. 
it's also you're, you're matched against people who are supposedly a one skill rating, but they're just coming off a five game loss and they're triggered. So they don't match the what the SBMM says. This player might be your, you know. Ah, 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 and then this happens. So, just when people talk about SBMM, there's a lot of variables and factors that they don't actually take into account. But one is definitely the, the human error element and the human emotional element to your average player. So, the volatility of an average player is actually to do with other factors other than just, I'm getting, I'm getting screwed over here. It isn't always that simple. It is actually a case of your own skill level is is wildly variable um, due to other games you play, the how often you play a week warming up, and then if you finish on a banger and you're on a, playing a game that's EOMM and not SBMM, then they think, wait a minute, this guy thinks he's good. Well, let's let's put him with some <laughs> put him with some harsh competition and see how he gets on. Then you've come on the next time after just winning three games in a row and you just get utterly wrecked. How's that going to feel? It feels awful, man, and it feels like the world's against you. So, to talk about this subject, I think needs a video essay, to be honest. But it's not a. You're basically, average Joes, golds, and plats have a different set of problems to masters and preds. Completely different set of problems, and yeah, something I will definitely talk about at some point. Someone's asking. About Twitch or YouTube? Whichever you prefer. It depends what you do with it. Like if you're if you're if you're gonna clip your content up and make videos out of it. You can do that on Twitch or YouTube, but if you make long form content and stream as well, I don't know. It doesn't really matter to be honest. Anyone can make anything work. David says, I'm a full-time single dad. When my daughter plays up, I play terrible. When things are good, I play decent, so I can totally relate. Now, here's the thing, my man. You have the foresight and the... Um, you have a great deal of awareness just from that single little, you know, point that you raised. You know what's going on in your life. You know the challenges. You know how difficult it is. You've separated yourself from the ego wanting to protect you from losses being your fault. You look at it and go, sometimes I'm just going to play like trash and it's not going to work. A lot of people can't do that. And they can't do that because they, you know, they want their day to go right. And there's nothing wrong with that. Like you say you, you queue into a game and you're like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to destroy those noobs and forget about this horrible day I've just had. And then your teammates are throwing or they've already been triggered by something else and they don't trust you, so they start stealing your stuff and, you know... You, you can see how it gets. It feels like the world's against you. When you demand an outcome, your brain will instantly say, well, it's not my fault. I'm doing everything I can. Yes, you are, given that you've just had a horrendous day, but <laughs> there's also a chance that you're pushing W a little more than you should. So I know exactly what you're saying, my man. When you've got outside problems, having the awareness to know that they are affecting you is... Yep. It's a sign of... Maturity. <laughs> so for sure, says age also matters. The older you get, the less pro moments you get, even if you're a monster playing these things decades ago. Oh, yeah. Also, long-standing accounts where you were doing really well before. And if SBMM is actually collected over, you know, uh, a larger sample size. I've, I've actually read a little bit about this as well. People have been playing Fortnite for years and then stopped for a while, came back after like an injury or... They came back after playing another game and they just couldn't find their way. <laughs> um, this guy uh, did that and could not get his uh, his skill base down. He he was just destroyed and I think he collected evidence of this. Playing so many games and every single game was just the same the same story. He was just trapped in this um, yeah tightly based MMR. It was really tough. Marco Feller says I just play like trash anyway. Yep. Omar says, I'd like to know more about teammate matchmaking. Have you any thought about that? <laughs> Plenty. Plenty. I've just, I've consumed a fair bit of material on this recently. It's quite literally, 
there's... Okay, you can simplify it and say you're not playing against other players, you're playing against the machine. That's half the story. That's definitely half the story where the algorithm will be your boss in terms of telling you what you're, you're going to get teammate-wise. and In a way, a lot of people say it's going to be your result predetermined. I actually had a huge humble pie from this recently where I was playing Overwatch and it felt like I was being jammed into a loss as soon as we started. And I, I had a little rage moment not to anyone of the in the team, but I did like say to Jelly about how it felt so awful, man. Changed a few things up, changed a few heroes. We were getting so badly rolled. Quite literally, we unbalanced our enemy team. They were better, but we unbalanced them with some uh, <laughs> some exceptional counter work and won a game. And the thing that Overwatch is doing now is it's telling you. When you win a game you shouldn't have won, it'll say like uphill battle, green arrow. You get more percentage than you otherwise would have. I think they've actually got quite a good system right now of telling you when you're up against it and when you're not. And that's a, I think that's a, a good model for SBMM in general is to let people know when, by the way, you won this game and you weren't supposed to, have a cookie. Like, <laughs> I think that's actually pretty good. Uh, with AFK. Oh, oh, ah! oh no! Oh, 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 it's over. Good night. Aimbots this season says wind. Apex dead. This, this, I mean, if you want to talk about bots. Look at COD and look at Halo Infinite, man. Those those are games that they have real problems. Real problems. Apex is actually not as bad. I got revenge for you, brother. Sister. Brother. Sister. Bruster. Bruster. <laughs> Hey! Hey! Okay, you can have that. <laughs> so, Shaggy says the SBMM doesn't even allow you to try and get better. It's a rigged system forcing you to keep playing as long as possible. Yes. I think, again, this is like a, this is part of the, part of the equation. They do want you to keep playing as long as possible. And there is a kind of a, have a cookie thing with it all, but it, there's just so much more to it than that. The, the issue with, with getting better is the is getting trapped into these brackets and the skill ceilings feeling like, you know, how can it be one minute that you feel like you're playing well, then the next minute it feels like everything went wrong? That's, to me, f feels like a failing in the system for sure. Sorry, I'm, I'm starting to lose concentration. I, I need to play this game, guys. <laughs> I need to get my damage up. We'll talk about this later. Killing someone with a devotion is going to be hard enough to steal a kill, I think. Ah! So difficult, man. Then again, we're just after the damage right now. Did we finish those placements? Uh... I don't know. Oh, man. They are sticking together, though, so they're blowing it the right way. Like, look at this. One in there, one here. I have three limbs. I am definitely the underdog right now. Are they still in here? You better not be, man. You better not all still... Is it the same building? Everything looks the same. <laughs> you know, I started shooting before I even knew where they were. <laughs> that was kind of like a... I will... I will correct my aim as I go. Okay, everyone. Send it!
Aha! I got one! You know, I feel like my shield battery was was facing the wrong way. I might I might have made that pillar, man. I might have made it. Pow. I'm here. Okay, at least I saw him die. That's most important. Okay. Hi. 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 <laughs> uh, what am I going to do with the Moza, man? Take that. 15 damage towards my 100k. You saw nothing? I have to go over there, man. I have to get it. Right, you ready? Oh. Wait, what? Are you kidding me? I don't know what's going on here. But we're, we're, we're taking this, man. I'm coming over. So funny getting stuck on certain guns. Okay. Okay, I feel the devotion in my back. Yes, thank you. They can put high DPS and accuracy in the same lobby with each other and then says and have three tiers, the higher DPS and accuracy with time limits that moves you up to higher tier lobbies. Some systems exist in that way in that let's say you pop off early in a lobby, you get like 500 damage, two, three limbs early. Algorithm goes, all right, you're a player, you know, <laughs> um, up you go. But I've seen this more consistent with EOMM type lobbies where things get moved around based on how you do. That's what I'm talking about. Ah! Take your stinky gas trap and plug it. You weren't expecting that, were you? Neither was I. Ha ha! Uh oh. Wait, we've got the knife? P2020. How can this possibly go wrong? Ouch! No! 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 No, you don't. You don't know where I went. You don't even have a single clue which way I went. Uh, oh, run out of bullets! Imagine! Imagine I had bullets! Definitely not, Evie. Thank you so much for the super chat and also the one that you sneakily snuck in after yesterday's stream. Today is the day where I get Bangalore's Tier 3 Mythic Skin. Thank you so much for the super chat. That is awesome. Really very kind of you. It's a different username, though, I thought, but I still knew it was you because it said definitely not Evie on my notification, but there was another account again. I'm going to say one more thing about SBMM just to close the chapter on talking about this right now. That consider the good players, like the, you know, diamond, maybe above diamond, kind of masters and above. If they only play against themselves and better, I think the game is doomed. So in an unranked, in an unranked scenario, 
I just don't see why SBMM needs to be there. I think people have abused these things and do, you know, um, do kind of use it as like scrim practice, and that sucks. But having played games with wider SBMM, I would then go on like a, a killing spree and then just get destroyed by someone who's a lot better. And that still felt better than feeling like I'm fighting for my life with every single fight. Every single fight feeling like a coin toss is not a good place to be. So that's why I think in unranked games, it shouldn't feel like you're being tested to your limits. If you want to get better at the game, ranked is definitely the place for it. And it, should, and it feels right to me that, you know, that you should get like tighter matchmaking and feel like you're being pressed and you've got to evolve, evolve or die. And that's your rank. Unranked game, let people pick up weapons that they don't normally use. Let people, you know, do the thing and, and not feel it. That quite literally you are getting beamed every single time. To create a, a super competitive environment in an unranked game mode is madness to me. So, having said that, the last few days haven't felt as bad. But then again, I'm not... I've not played a great many games recently, so I think if I played more, maybe I'd feel differently. That's just like, there's some spray and pray for you with the scout. You try the Spitfire. The Spitfire! <laughs> yeah, take that corpse. Okay. Made it so sense in a battle the loot is another factor of pure chance as his player skill. Yeah, oh yeah. I mean, you, we've all had those days where you land on the supply bins, three of them, not one gun to be found. <laughs> like, <rah! laughs> Really wish you were here. Hey, Rag, how are you this fine Saturday? Thank you very much for the super chat and for your positivity. Doing pretty well, thank you. Can't find anyone. My eyes deceive me. Is anyone here? Oh, care pack. Should we have a look? Okay. I'm guessing this will be a Eva 8. <laughs> oh, the gift that keeps on giving. Is Eva 8 even in Team Deathmatch? I'm not sure if it is. Don't remember seeing it. I've seen the Kraber, I think, and I've seen the Wingman, but. Wait, you ready? Oh, no, I failed. Okay, never mind. Are they all camping up there? Where are they? Hey! That's illegal. Okay. So definitely not Evie says, why are you not, why are you always streaming when my girlfriend is with me? I, I apologize. I'm so inconsiderate. Thank you again for the super chat. I need to align my schedules better, don't I? Hey. Whoa. Whoa. Missing every shot! Missing every shot! Redemption. It's a long journey, but worth it. Okay, I am going to hit something with this wingman. I, I need... We need damage! Where are we going to get it? Out. <laughs> By doing it to ourselves. No! No, 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 no. I have a wingman. I don't want to lose it. Do not want to lose it. Whoop. Where is he? Are you in there? Whoop. Oh, I heard you. He's like, hacker, hacker. No, no, no. Footsteps.
damage. Ooh. Man, they are burning there. They are happy to be up top and Okay. Okay. Hey. Oh, ho, ho, you're getting it. Oh, I'm coming for you. Or am I? I don't know if this is a good idea. Is this where we find out that there's more than a few of them there? Let's find out. Man, you know, for for a conduit, you're pretty agile. Well, you know what? Thank you, teammate. Because apparently... <laughs> I can't even shots! Look how close that was. We got a flat line. Yeah, we like he. Now we're going up there and we're going to teach them a lesson. A lesson about camping. Camping's not allowed unless I'm doing it. Is that a jump pad? Let's go up there, man. What are you talking about? Why are you going in the building? Go on top of the building. Like, ha. Huh? Ah! Oh, you did not. No, no. <laughs> Man, that's it. I told you guys, go in the building, not on top of the building. But did anyone listen? No, they didn't. I'm sick of people not listening to me, man. I auto I know I said it. I was there when I said it. <laughs> on top of the building. From inside. Oh, <sighs> Some people. Am I playing ranked later? <laughs> no. No shot. Why? Why are you all in? What's going on here, man? I'm I am not having this. I'm coming in there. Get bullied, man. People sticking together like that. This is illegal. Illegal play. Oh, is that an Eva? Oh, 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 let's get it. Oh, it's over now. Yoo-hoo! What's that? I like it. An alternator and an Eva 8. This is going to be terrifying. This is where I die. Get in there, man. Don't stand for any of that nonsense. Where are they? Are you kidding me? Where did they all go? You know what? That was much closer than it should have been. But we'll take it. Okay, I hear you, Rampart. And we still somehow lost that. Oh, wow. I was in... That was a thingy. That was a... A ramped up rampage. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> Ah, not triggered! We're definitely not triggered! <laughs> no triggered here! You may be wondering why I just did that. Panic. That's why. Sheer and utter unfiltered panic. Uh. Get off there, man. I'm sick of y'all. Warning shots! Warning! 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 I did warn you.
Ah, oh man, can you imagine how much that would have hurt? That that would be crazy sore to land like that. Wait, what's this? Should we do it? You know. Why not? No, no, no. Ready? And still... Oh, it's because there's two of them. I was thinking, surely I can win this 1v1. But... I just got R301 back to the lobby. And yes, I'm second bottom on the scoreboard. And no, I don't care! <laughs> Hello? Hello? What's happening? Hey. I'm back! Right, now where's your friend? There he is. You know what, Revenant? Can you just 1v1 me once by yourself without all this extra backup? Are you kidding me? It's the dude with the R301 again. <laughs> Right, fine. Off we go. Right, pick up Penguin. How about you and me even the field? Together, we take out that filthy revenant. I, I can't fly. I, 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 uh, uh, hey! Hey! We talked about this. Valkyrie next. Just uh, Okay, okay. Red Valkyrie, let's go. No, 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 no. They're behind there. They're, don't, don't give up, Valkyrie. They're here. What are you doing? You're charging up shields. Okay, that's fine. Valkyrie, man, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm disturbed by your lack of faith in my, in my ability to, to help you. Hey, 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 hey! Oh, ha, ha! <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I, uh, <clears throat> you're welcome, team. Don't worry. I've got you all. <laughs> oh, man. Right, surely we're getting close now. We have got to be getting close. <sighs> the gutter tier. The gutter tier. There we go. Let's see. Where am I now? 97,179. They took the digi off the other guns. Yes, 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 yes. Stinky Lollipop says, can I play? Nobody's stopping you from booting up Apex Legends. Off you go, but if you've ever seen me queue with other people... You will know that that other people is pretty much just the mods and jelly. I, I'm shy. What can I say? Juan says this game is killing me. I'm 48. I'm too old for this. <laughs> Juan, I've got some bad news for you. <laughs> you think I'm a spring chicken? <laughs> do we have any mods here? I think we do. Right, just remember, uh, just remember your, your age, whilst it is a factor, it's not the whole story, it's not the whole story, it's a lot of the story. Right guys, listen, have you ever heard of like... Tibetan throat singing and I think uh, not just the Tibetan but there's like I've, I've heard Japanese do it as well I perfected the technique you ready to hear it <clears throat> I figured it out myself there's this form of meditational drones that you can do where you relax the vocal cords in the same way as you would do something called the vocal fry a vocal fry is a very annoying thing that people do in speech it's where when they when they're talking they don't pressurize the end of their air of, of the sentence and 
their voice goes down like this. So it goes at the end, they're just talking, they go, oh yeah, okay, like that. Very, very annoying, but it's actually the gateway to some very cool meditation sounds that you can make. So that kind of uh, 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 little raspy fry sound is the vocal cords basically vibrating together quite slowly, but you can push a better quality of air through it and almost make this in-between sound between this kind of ah, uh, ah, uh, and the uh, 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 Put them both together. You ready? It's going to be something special. Yeah. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> and there you go. That's, that's another form of voca vocalizing for you. You learn something new every day. <laughs> I know, I just changed your life. ASMR. I found it was actually quite difficult to get it to sustain it. Cause I used to be able to, I used to break after like two seconds or three seconds of, of doing it, but I've now I've managed to, now I've managed to just sustain it. Many hours were spent in the shower on that one. <laughs> No guns. Perfect. I'm on my way, brother. Okay, so there's more than one. I mean, quite literally, what can I do here, man? So we'll, talking about what that what that technique is, um, there's a if you if you're interested in it, I can explain how it works a bit. It's altering the uh, harmonics, the frequencies above what you normally hear. So if you hear this this note and it goes ah uh, ah uh, ah, uh, you create overtones above it, and when you alter the um, phonation to make different vowel sounds it changes the upper harmonic sounds so that it ends up feeling that the pitch is going like that kind of whistly sort of sound over the top of it. Um, so that's why it sounds so bizarre. When you hear me go from like E to O, E to O, those particular sounds change the pitch behind the ah. Uh, so when you're doing E, listening very, very carefully, you can you can hear with the the added throaty sounds that e e up and down it's going do you but in actual fact I'm just keeping the same the same note but the frequencies change which is really cool so that's why it sounds so bizarre when people do that there you go you learn <laughs> you welcome to my TED talk and thank you for coming goodbye. Did I take that? Okay. I know I just took everything from those bins, but to be fair, I only had one gun. What's up, Nanner? How we doing? Rick says, not going to allow your voice control. It's kind of wild. Well, it was quite literally what I trained to do. It was, you know, that was my thing for years. And loved it. Loved every part of it. I smile every time someone says, Oh, you should start a band or oh, you should try and sing. So it was like, what do you think I did for, for so long? It was like all I trained to do. And yeah, loved it. But most of my professional days were before the internet really mattered. 
before you know everything was recorded and everything anyone did ended up on YouTube somewhere. A different time. By 2008, I wasn't really performing as much anymore. It's when the family came along. Charge rifle! Charge rifle! You can Come on, man. Come on! Octane, don't leave me! Yeah, actually, maybe you should leave me. No, nope, never mind. Okay, I believe. I believe. I'm just going to hide down here. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Plop. <laughs> yep. Praetor says, ever consider voice work? Oh, yeah. I was asked to voice a video game at one point and didn't come to terms about it. It nearly happened. But fell through for a few reasons. I am not, I repeat, not doing that. Do I play any instruments? I can pick up a few things, yeah. I mean, keyboard is basically, keyboard piano is my, my second go-to thing. I can make tunes out of the guitar. And as everyone has heard, I am something of an expert on the recorder. <laughs> like, I do a mean Titanic. You charge rifle is awful. You miss the beam. I do miss the beam as well, man. I would put it back in the care package and make it like it was. Wouldn't that be fun? Just for a little while. <laughs> David says you probably could do another YouTube channel where you focus and help others to release their egos and find the self. So I've considered it. I've actually really considered it. And... What I thought I would do is make a book, and I'm just so far behind. I've been, I've got so many, not chapters, but bits of chapters written down, and it's to do with gamers and their, their self and controlling their self. And I just haven't gotten around to, you know, compiling it. I'm making the awful mistake of, I keep refining my work instead of just keep writing and I really, really need to stop reading my work. But yeah, I, I thought about something along those lines, making a channel for it. Maybe it'll still happen. We'll see. There's a lot of things like that out there already that I think are quite good. So I always sit and think, mm, would anyone listen to me? I don't know. Quite happy to talk about it on stream, though. No problem at all. I come at it from a slightly different... Like those who have, someone mentioned Alan Watts earlier, I'm more that line than the red pill line, if you know what I mean. A little bit more, not detached, but to find that balance for sure. Uh, how do I do this? Nice. Oh boy. That was unfortunate. There you go.
You must mean a lack of controlling themselves. I think that people in general have two default issues when it comes to gaming that, you know, if you're thinking about control and lack of. Um, do I want to talk about this now? Hmm. Basically, I'm not responsible for my actions because of the blame displacement. <laughs> and the other is the over self-critical. There's obviously more than this, but the over self-critical being harsh on yourself and both of those are very difficult places to get out of once you're down a, a deep hard line pattern but simple exercises can can pull you out of them little state change exercises and things like that can really alleviate things David says, I had a spiritual awakening when my dad died and I love Alan Watts. wouldn't be here without him. I've listened to hours and hours of that guy. It's a shame that everyone goes, oh, yeah, but the dude drank himself to death and did this and the other. It's like, yeah, he said it himself. He said, I am a fiend. <laughs> you know, <laughs> And he said, <laughs> I'm a, what was he? He said something about, you know, how he likes women and liquor. And he was like, yes, I, I know that. I'm fine with that. You know, <laughs> like, um, he's, he was the best Western interpreter of Eastern texts. So, of course, you just admit to your Western lifestyle or, or what you like doing. That doesn't mean you have to be a, an absolute monk yourself. You can understand the text. You don't have to be a, an avid practitioner. But the guy was a uh, legend, legendary in terms of how succinctly he could articulate something so complicated and make it digestible for our tongues. He would talk about things that you really wouldn't want to hear about back then, but now are more true than ever. Is this really the kind of things you want to say? I don't know. I don't know if anyone's interested in any of this stuff. I'm just talking out my butthole here in terms of just throwing out the things that are interesting to me. I don't know if they are for you. Here we are again. How many times have I dropped in Cascade Falls? What a beautiful place this is. Cyrus said the game's going, they're going all right. I mean, I'm getting destroyed, but yeah. We are trying to get 100,000 damage with Bangalore so we can get this tier three mythic skin. I just want the finisher, really. I think I, I think I quite like the, the level two skin, to be honest. But. Should I go longbow? Go longbow hemlock. Not great up close, but if I find a peacekeeper, we'll obviously be swapping to that. I think that's what we'll do. Stoic mindset goes a long way in gaming. Absolutely. Wait, what was that I was supposed to be looking for here? There was something here that that I pinged, that I was like, yeah, I won that, but... Oh, well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what it was. <laughs> now I remember. Thank you, Caustic. <laughs> the ping disappeared, and... So with it, did his life force. How about we go Stormcatcher, man? Right, that's it. We've not used the PK today. Let's get it going. I like a peacekeeper, man. We do this. We do this. Let's change subjects with David. Okay, got it. Oh, what? Oh.
That's a shame, man. We're chasing this wraith down. Boo! Whoa! Whoa! Please help! Help! Okay, here we go. Aha! Uh -huh, you got bamboozled! That was good. Like, getting that upgrade right at this moment. I like it. How far am I from reaching the goal? Um, Not far, I think. Woo! Let's go! Oh my goodness, sort of shot that was the Caustic's... Um, Caustic did this awesome mid-air shot. With his sentinel, I think it was. Pretty good. Wait, was there not someone over here? Oh, yeah. Okay, I, I maybe need to calm down on the, you know, on the heavy ammo. Alright, here we go. Praetor says, as someone who struggles with destructive critical outlooks, both for me and my teammates, you appreciate the discussion. Well, yeah, happy to happy to do it, to be honest. There's this thing I can say to you all, guys. It's like something I've spoken about enough times that I feel a little self-conscious about saying it continually, but your body... Hold that thought. <laughs> I mean, he really just got away there at the end. Taking that little thing. There. Oh, is that someone else? So is that a different? I'll see if I can tell you this before I get in combat again. Your body is not great at prolonged periods of stress. So when people say how is it that you are able to blah, 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 blah? I always say the same thing. And that is because I stressed my body until I got ill. The kind of illness that you don't really walk away from. So, of course, it's going to trigger a complete shift in how you look at the world. It's easy to say, hey, man, as long as you've got your health, everything's fine. Like, no, man, it's not fine. I've got bills to pay. My girlfriend's angry all the time. My dad hates me, blah, blah. It's like, it's easy to say all these kind of things, but the moment you don't have your health, you really do look at those other things and go, you know what? Okay, it does suck not being able to afford anything, but, <laughs> but not being able to put one foot in front of the other, that's worse. So that's basically why I formulated this new outlook, this new kind of, oh, this dude's so much more chill or blah, blah, blah. Is, seems to have an answer for a lot of things it's because i had it all taken it's that simple woke up one day double vision woke up one day legs not working woke up one day what is going on here you know um life destroyed family in pieces firefighting a memory i like literally the thing i loved most was p pivoting to firefighting as a career loved that job taken from me um Loads of things I enjoyed were just gone in an instant. So how do you get so chronically ill? Ignore all the signs of your body saying, don't be too critical of yourself. Don't, 
you know, don't be sleeping three hours after working 12 hours and then getting up the next day and going to work. You know, like those are signs from your body. When your hand starts trembling while you're cooking at night, it's a neurological sign. I'm telling you from my direct experience as opposed to what I think would happen to you. Like I, I used to come home from a shift and think, oh, it's probably the machinery that's made my hand tremble. Wrong. It's a neuro sign from the, <laughs> the brain saying, I can't cope. That's why your hand is, is quivering like you've got Parkinson's. It's, it's actually screaming at you to stop doing what you're doing. So that's it. That's how I suddenly turned things around. But it wasn't sudden either. It was, you know, maybe a stage of like a year or two. And then all of a sudden it's like, okay, all right. <laughs> let's, uh, let's start again with how we look at life, all right? There you go. There's another TED Talk. You're welcome. Uh, regen, I never know which one to take. This one seems like it's going to be useful, but it sucks in terms of what I look at. So I'm going with this one. I'll regen inside the smoke. I'll probably die faster than I can... Whatever. Raggy gave off my favorite teacher at school vibes. <laughs> you know what? Being a teacher would not be a bad a bad next next move for me. I think I could I could see that. I have actually done lecturing at university and a few people said similar to me then, but I did a lot of life talks. Um I was like a visiting zero contract hours professor. Without the without the MD of course. You kidding? Oh, that is salty, man. I just downed your teammate and you're going thirst mine. Yeah. Oh, I'm coming for you. No. You think you're reviving? You're not reviving. I'm coming for you both now. No. No, no, no. They got a... They don't. Let's go Reviver. Oh! Uh, where do we do this? Come on, man. Let's respawn. Wait. Was that a respawn beacon? No, it was a thingy. Let's go! This is what I love solo queuing for. Like, just, just send it. Send it for a random. <laughs> RT, I could not, uh, could not agree more. As for therapy, I'd love to do that as well. I could, you know, I don't know. Once my YouTube adventures are at their end, I'd love to do something like that. Therapy, crisis counseling. Anything like that. That'd be fun. We should probe that sector over there. Oh, you shouldn't have. No, but for the record, you should have. You should always have. Give my shield a recharge. Practice subject. Woo! Good job, Caustic! I sometimes feel a little bit scummy with these these angled shots where they're fighting another team and you just beam them. Proceeds to do exactly the same again. <laughs> hey man, you're outside the ring. You get what you get. I 
think there's someone else there, no? I think we're good. I can see a win in my future. Maybe. The hemlock is just disgusting sometimes, you know? Oh, we gotta go soon. So there's at least two people there. Okay, this is going to be rough. We have to go. Oh my goodness. Just us and them. Ah! Oh, they shot it! No, we don't do this. Just run. They've got to run. Okay, here we go. Oh boy. Okay. We really should push this. Up. Oh boy. Pretty even, I would say. Yeah, we don't have much left here. Are you kidding? Are you kidding me? Uh-oh. Yeah, that was pretty good. Look at the angle they got there. Pretty good. Nice try. I think, you know, that could have gone better, but... I don't know if we probably should have pushed around that rock with Caustic. What he did was maybe not what I would have done. I would have gone for the high ground. So when you're at the rock like that, to me, it makes sense to stay on the, on the higher end rather than being on the lake side. But, oh well. I think we did all right. Attractive Hello says, for some reason I cannot control ARs with a three times scope, two times two got no issue. Different strokes, eh? Zombor Sol Sholiak. Zombor Sholiak. Did I get that? I got that maybe 40% right, I think. <laughs> so 99,000. <laughs> 99,000. 858. What's that, like 142 damage? And we have this. We do this, everyone. Let's go. Fun game. That was actually a, a fun game, given that I've been feeling... Fairly uninclined, disinclined? Uh, disinclined, I think is correct. Disinclined to play Apex as much because of how sweaty and difficult the games have been feeling. But the last couple of days have actually been all right. But, you know, if you don't play as much, who knows what happens? Mindset-wise as well. Ready up. It's go time. 
This is this could be the game, guys. This could be the one. And then, of course, once we get the tier three, I really want to pull off one of those finishers. Henry says you are too good not to not play ranked. Very kind of you to say, but in my opinion, I'm not that good. I would say if my life depended on it, I think I could hit diamond. If my life depended on it. It was like a kind of a, you will hit diamond or you don't walk out of here. I could maybe, maybe climb through some more of diamond if I thought that, you know, it was a life or death thing. But if they said hit master and you don't walk out of here, I'd probably sit and meditate and enjoy my final hours not playing Apex. <laughs> I'd probably just not play... Okay, we, Matt, we should be allowed to walk on those things. Come on, man. Okay, I'm coming, brothers. Mastiff is going to have to do. really just sit up there man all that time well we're not going to get 158 damage like that are we zero zero 29 <laughs> let's go so i think oh, i just i just can't see me playing any more ranked Cannot see it. Not in this game. The system is is too is too obviously locked in a number behind the badge, and I I don't see that you know being fun for me. I mean, would you play ranked? If let's say that there's this guy, right? Let's just say, for example, Exploder, right? We're both silver one. And he's my teammate. I then play three more weeks of ranked. And he's on my team twice. By the, by the two or three more weeks, I've hit plat four, plat three maybe. And he's on my team two or three times in that week. Why? Why? Because he's in my MMR rating. And has probably stayed in my MMR rating that entire time. Did we both get better at the game over two or three weeks? No, we did not. No, we did not. I mean, he might have, but I didn't. So... That's quite literally the reason I just don't have the motivation to go for this climb. For is that if you look carefully enough at all your opponents, you're going to see the same faces. You're going to, in the kill feed, in your squad, I'm not trying to be negative, it's just a, you know, so why why do it is, is my own question to myself when I can just play unranked games and just do whatever. I've disillusioned myself with it by, by finding that out, you know, seeing the same faces regardless of it. Oh, ah! <laughs> we're fine, we're fine. Wraith, I'm coming! Exploder! I got you! I would also really like a weapon. Ooh, shotgun bolt for my nothing. No one's got. A, I'm, I'm taking him, man. You just never know. Wait, did Wraith want that? Doesn't have a shotgun. Oh.
Oh, you walked into a world of hurt. 116 damage. Okay, another like 30 something, and then we're there. Oh, what? No, 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 no! Ah! It's got to be this game, man. It has got to be this game. Ah, no! Ah, 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 no! We're fine. We're absolutely fine. Okay, I have no ammo. Are you kidding me, man? There's three of us. Why am I still the last one getting shot? The first one getting shot even... Shoot them, will you? Just give me a second. I'll come back. And then you can shoot me. <laughs> How can it... Oh, no. Okay, I'm coming, Wraith. I'll be there. Exploder. Exploder. Uh. Okay. Let me just put four bullets back into my rampage. <clears throat> right at this point... This is going to be one of those lobbies that we're not supposed to win. <laughs> this is welcome to... You don't belong here. Okay. Yeah, I'll give you some. Wait, 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 I'll give you my syringe. I don't want to take a shield. I better take a shield back there. Yeah. This is... It's such a difficult game, man. Uh-oh. I hear footsteps over here. Thank you! Now what's going on here? I do with the real rector. Watch my back. Probably just some fan account. Hopefully not. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, is it the real ragtag? <laughs> I was about to say the same thing. Who is that anyway? Oh my god, he did the real guy! <laughs> no way! No fucking way! I need to record this! Do it, man. Record it. Let's go. Okay, would a soundboard say, hello there, I'll suck ya di- Oh wait, wait, what? What kind of name is that, man? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> How could you call yourself that? Are you kidding me? I, I only just worked it out. That is not very family friendly, man. I hope you're not streaming. I am, I am streaming and I nearly made a boo-boo live on stream. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, my friend will not believe this. We were joking about it earlier this week, guys, that we might get. Well, let's do it, brother. Let's let's win. Let's get it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Taking 
Oh man, I get absolutely lit up there. These guys are way. Oh. Look how much damage I took there. That's insane. You know, I really should look at people's names more carefully before I start to... How often do I get what, sorry? Um, not, not that often, to be honest with you. I, I, yeah, One, once or twice uh, a year, maybe. <laughs> uh, I've been a dedicated viewer of yours for the past, like, three years. That is awesome, man. Thank you so much keeping the lights on for me. <laughs> yeah. Spring's closing in one. We're not very close. Right, well, this is fun. Man, <laughs> that name. Maybe we can ask him to change it. Maybe that could be my contribution for the day. <laughs> right. This is such a difficult lobby, as you can probably tell. The, this, these opponents are way, way beyond me. That doesn't mean we're giving up, but it's just, it's, it's completely changing how I'm having to play, which is carefully and with much fear and tension in my buttocks. <laughs> so. Yeah, I'm really not all that enthused to keep going with the rampage but you know ain't much else at the moment is that havoc we'll stick with the nemesis i've been enjoying the hemlock so see how this goes i love that people think that there is anyone out there who would make a soundboard of me i'd, I'd I don't have that level of, I don't want to use the word fame, but well-knownness. Yes, that's exactly what I meant to say. I don't have that level of well-knownness. <laughs> yeah, where do we go? Um, how about Cascade? Oh, okay. I do like a good bit of Cascade Falls. Why not? Look, man, if you are recording this, can you make sure that when I die, you put it in slow motion and put sad music to it, right? Oh, okay. I I'll probably <laughs> die before you. I don't know, I'm man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trash. I suck. Like, I, I don't have a good aim. That's all right. I'm sure his end's better than mine. Someone there, someone there. Okay, slow motion, remember? Got your soundboard right there. I like it. How many Bangalores do we have in this area? I'd love to see a third and a fourth and a fifth ult come out. All right.
Oh man, a prowler or anything, man. Let's see if we can... Oh! Good job, good job. Oh boy. Oh boy. Am I gonna make this? No, I don't think I am. Uh, we're gonna die. I think so. Oh no, I think that was the play. If I didn't do that, if I didn't do that little syringe there, I think that would have been over. How much damage I took there. Thank you, man. I should be healing right now. Yeah, healing inside the smoke. That's the perk. Uh oh. Oh my god, they have sick aim. Yeah, man. Wraith just, Wraith just left. I like it, I like it, let's go. Oh. Alright, man. Oh boy. That's not good. <laughs> 54, I think. Okay. Oh man. I don't know guys. We don't have any heals here. Where's that full check user man? Let's push him, man. Uh oh, my bad. We go back. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Recharging shields. I'll give you some heals, hold on. No, no, no. Good. Oh, thanks. Rings nearby. One minute till close. Oh boy. Looking for a thermite grenade. Here, yeah, yeah. here. Thank you. This is so tense. Oh boy. Hold up, healing. 
you have your ult? Uh, no. Ninety-eight. Ninety-eight. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Yeah, let's take your ult. They were waiting on us there. <laughs> where do go? Where do go? Uh, you, you choose, man. You choose. Oh man, they're good. I think that might be it. Get him, man. Kill them all. Uh, nice try. Yeah, sorry, nice try. Sorry. GG's, my man. No, 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 you played really well. Yeah, thank you for the game. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I was nervous the whole game. <laughs> no problem, man. You did great. Yeah, yeah. It was really fun meeting you and playing with you. It has been an honor. <laughs> the honor was mine. Change your name, will you? Jeez. <laughs> 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 I think I will. <laughs> Alright, have a good day, man. Catch you later. Uh, you too, man. Bye. Holy moly, it's time. We actually did it. We actually got this. You know what? I think if that was a 3v3, it wouldn't have been impossible. It would have been difficult. Clearly my teammate, I know he said he was nervous. So he was really good. He was MVP. But we did it. Ray, woo, 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 woo <laughs> Let's unlock it. Let's equip it. Let's do it. Tier three and the finisher question is who's getting it so it's gun run so we can't do it on that we've got to do it in a trios game i think i am also not beyond finishing a dummy i prefer the ninja mask as well i'm totally with you i just wanted to do it i mean can't believe i've had that skin all this time and not unlocked you know not unlocked the third tier it is because, of course, I do that thing where I go cycle through all the legends. And because there's so many of them, it makes sense that I would start cycling through them and never getting back around to it. It's his channel name on YouTube. <laughs> oh, man. The guy will talk about how he carried me for the next month. Yeah. And so he should. I enjoyed the carry. Grimlin says, yes, Anita Williams on deck. The best character of Apex. All right. I like the caps and the spirit behind it. If Wraith hadn't left, you probably, I mean, the Wraith was really good. The Wraith was, yeah, switched on. To be honest, it was quite clear that I was the weak link. As you can see, though, I mean, when things get serious, I obviously do simmer down and start looking at angles. And can I, like, show less of my body to the enemy? I, I on some level, I do know what to do. I just, I just don't do it. Yeah. GG's, my man. That was fun. Really tense end game as well. Just touch down here. 
Right, let's touch down somewhere else that isn't, you know, wherever I keep landing. How is it that all paths lead to Cascade Falls in this game? It used to be that all paths would lead to Pylon Barometer. But when I play, I, I so often just find myself at this end of the map. Just more fun. Oh, there's a lot of people coming here. Oh, it's over before it begins. What's this? Spluff, oh, yes, that's mine. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, no. I'm sorry, Octane. <laughs> we did it. Okay, stream over. Good night. <laughs> that, is a, that is an awesome finisher. That was worth the... However long it took to get 100k damage. 84 years. We have done what we came to do. What's going on here? Oh, hello. Hello. I'll be with you in a minute, Loba. Wait, what? Where is she? Yoo-hoo! Wait. Ahem. <clears throat> Yoo-hoo! Hey! Hey! Are you kidding me? Are you... That was rude. That was nothing but rudeness right there. Man, I was only there just to chill and say hello, and they had to just turn it on, didn't they? Hey! AS member for two months. Thank you so much for continuing the membership. Just giving the game a break for tonight, and you're online, sweet. You're the best of the best. Live long and prosper. Thank you very much indeed. Right, we'll do one more. We'll do one more. And then I think I need to start cooking. This proximity chat working. <laughs> yeah. Praetor says that last game started off super bleak. It really did. Both Al Succu you know that guy. Him and the and the Exploder, the Wraith, had to save me multiple times in that carcass of a dinosaur because I was just getting targeted so much. I suppose, you know, it reminds me of when I was playing in Kings Canyon and I met a pro player and I didn't, you know, he didn't know me, I didn't know him and he was streaming and I went and checked his stream and they were laughing on his POV about how I was lost and how I was so helpless. That must be how it was to be those enemies in the in the carcass of that dinosaur when they were just beaming me going, look at that guy. He's practically standing still. He doesn't have a clue. Wait, I, I can't. I can't. I cannot. Why would you eat down your microphone? Open mic! Open mic, man. Don't want to hear your Pringles and your Doritos or whatever that, that was. You kidding me? There's just no excuse for it. No jelly today. She's uh, playing Last Epoch right now, by the way, Paul. I don't know. I think she might have overtaken us. I, I don't know what she's doing. Maybe she started another character. You know, you, you could... Wait, which way are you going? You go that way then, man. Just you absolute thief. <laughs> There's all the things you can take from me. I'll never get triggered. A level 3 backpack? I mean, I will consider a fight to the death over something like that. That's the only thing that really matters. More than a evil shield. More than whatever. I'm only kidding. I really don't care. What I do care about, though, is improving with the nemesis. Because things go on all right with the with the hemlock imagine if i could translate that to some right now is there any reason is there any reason you see me opening it <laughs> okay ragtag needs some carbohydrates in his system Extended 
I thank you. I think the two times is where it's at. Two times is where it's at for sure. Craig says the R301 is amazing. Yeah, it's really good. It's really, really good. I would actually take it if I wasn't, you know, rocking the nemesis right now. I've been having a good time with the flatline as well recently. It's uh, it's in a great place. The flatline used to be one of these things that you would say, I use it, and people go, the flatline. The flatline! Or they're practically puking while, while, while expressing their disgust. But now it's it absolutely shreds. It's great. Oh. 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 I, I can't drop the alternator, man. I can't do it. I just sat there saying a prayer. For the fact that I'm not taking the the peacekeeper. Is that already down? Or no, it's not down yet. Kraber, please. Or an Eva eight. Totally fine. And yes, I have stood underneath one of these before and got crushed. So they ported out there. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're gonna do this. I'm coming to you, mate. I'm going to share these out. Okay. Let's let's just calm down. Everyone just calm down. <laughs> Do I prefer the hemlock or the nemesis? I'm I don't know. I mean I'm having a good time with the nemesis right now, so I, I think it's this season, I'm not sure. Like other seasons, I would have just said hands down, Hemlock. But Nemesis is one of those guns that I I didn't really get to grips with, and so just didn't use it as much. But now I don't know. It's it's feeling good. Let's get another finisher going, man. Let's do that. Skitch says, sounds like I'm not allowed to play Ark anymore and get an Epoch. Uh, so what's going to happen is after this stream skitter, I'm going to... I'm going to cook. Jelly is probably going to get some kind of burrito, curry, or... I don't know, whatever I'm... Whatever I've got in the fridge. And then we will probably be on... I need to double-check back health as well. But it's actually been not too bad today, despite the fact I was getting on the climbing frame in the castle with my daughter earlier, just realizing the limitations of age and all the rest of it. But there was a couple of times where we were on this wall and she was like jumping from one to another. And I looked at it and went, I think I can do this, but can I do it without consequence? So I chickened out. And she was like, Dad, it's okay. What you do is lean forward and put your hands out and then just jump. I'm like, yeah, I know what to do, but I know what's going to happen to my spine. <laughs> so anyway, 
long story short, I still feel all right. I think it's going to be tomorrow morning. I'm going to wake up and then I'll know. <laughs> I'll know exactly what that did to me. How many have I got? 16. I think I need a few more shield cells, guys. What curry? Burrito? No, burrito. Burrito. You know, chimichangas, you know. Uh, Jelly's favorite dish at the moment is that. Well, my version of that. The only difference is... I put quite a lot of Cajun spice on the on the mince and refried beans on the on the tortillas but I let the I let the mince soak a little bit not soak what am I trying to say when I'm cooking it and put tomato puree and, and seasoning on and whatnot I'll add some water to just allow things to permeate and and once the you know once the water is just kind of absorbed a bit and cooked away then i'll uh, take it off the pan and then i use the air fryer for the for the tortillas for the burritos and uh, yeah it's really nice sometimes i'll stick mexican rice through it and kidney beans as well um but they, it works fine on its own just with the mince it's great we need more jackson rag collabs oh man he's my boy he is the man So like a bolognese taco. Uh, well, without the can of tomatoes in it. The tomato puree and ketchup, yes, but I don't put like a can of tomatoes in, in the burritos. Because like with bolognese, you might use passata or, you know, and a few other things. You'd use Italian herbs as well. You'd use like uh, oregano and coriander. We don't want to be here. So let's just tell them that first of all, we're not we're not accepting that behavior. Second of all, come on in close and meet the Eva 8. I would love for them to push us. Like being pushed right now is the is the best case scenario for us, isn't it really? Being pushed with the an Eva eight with the Oh, are they pushing? Where's they gonna have to go after him? Oh 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 you cheeky I got you. I got you. Well, this is bad news. They're going to push hard. If we can just... Whoop, whoop, whoop. Wait, it's a different team? No 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 wait 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 I did not do I did not mean to do that guys I literally meant to change the shield core and it end bang <laughs> Rampart Rampart I quite literally wanted to swap my shield out. I don't know if I could have survived. I think we played all right there. Whatever, man. <laughs> Do you hold the button or click several times? I, I held it down a little bit at the end there, but I usually, I usually click as and when I want to shoot. Pretty good. 
40 creatures says, I recently discovered the recipe for the marinade to create Chipotle's chicken. Been great for tacos, quesadillas. If you're a member of our Discord, would you mind awfully pasting that in there? I would love to see that. That'd be great. I, I don't know. I had a great time today, guys. I met some lovely people, got some lovely damage. The games didn't feel awful. They actually felt challenging, but, you know, not like I'm being dunked on constantly. So far, another good experience. Is that two streams in a row where it's been all right? I'm clearly not the best player in any lobby, but I'm also not the worst. And that feels pretty good to me. So we're going to take that as a massive dub. In terms of what's up next, I promised a face reveal video. It hasn't happened because I'm just going to blame Jelly. That's pretty much it. The reason it hasn't happened is she's pretty busy. And we were meant to film throughout the week. We've had some camera and lighting issues. I don't know if they would bore you with it, but basically we did actually try to get some stuff sorted. It didn't happen. Tomorrow we're going to try again, get more filming done, and if possible, get things out next week instead. But I guess it was a tall order trying to ask a doctor to give me some free time when, you know, when she's not working, she's exhausted. So now let's go cook for the tired doctor. Thank you for joining me. I will be back when I'm back. Have a good day, guys. Catch you on the next one. Later!